from the beaches of Normandy and across the waters of the Pacific and through the jungles of Vietnam, America's soldiers, sailors, and airmen have always been there to get the job done. Whether it be a 16-year-old boy fighting for a flag that stood for nothing more than an idea in 1776, or to a small-town southern boy leaving his home to go to a company he never heard of to help stop the Nazis from taking over in 1943, or to a 30-year-old mother of two in 2008 flying to a country in the Middle East to help stop the war on terror. These brave men and women is what keeps America free and gives us the rights that we get to enjoy every single day, like where we want to go to school, where we worship, when we worship, where we eat, how we eat, when we eat. You know, just all the basic privileges that we have here in the United States that a lot of other countries don't have, we get to enjoy here because of the United States military. Our military is one of the strongest militaries in the world, and today I hope to tell y'all just a little bit about that. Um, from an early age, I always wanted to be in the military. I always aspired to that. If you name a book, I've read it. You name a movie, I've watched it. I've always found it very fascinating. It's always came first nature to me. I don't really know why, but it's just me. I had two grandfathers that served in the armed forces, so I've always listened to their stories and their experiences, and it's always just fueled my fire to know more about the military. And as an American, I just feel like we should all know just a little bit about the military it gives us our freedoms that we have and get to enjoy every day because most of us have friends family or at least know someone some acquaintance that serves in the military so for me you know it's just to take a little time out just to know a little bit about it um, so overall our military is comprised of four branches the army the navy the air force and the coast guard the Army is the biggest and the main branch. Um, the Army was founded on June 14, 1775 during the American Revolution when we won our independence from Great Britain. The Army is one of the largest armies in the world, not quite the largest army in the world if you're just going off straight manpower, but it's definitely one of the most technologically advanced fighting forces in the world. It's our main fighting force and it is probably the most feared and respected fighting force in the world. Secondly, we have the Navy. It was founded on October 13, 1775, also back during the American Revolution. Back then, it wasn't nothing but a couple little ships fighting like pirates, the big, mighty British Navy. But well, now, it is one of the most technologically advanced navies in the world. It's actually, if you go off ships, about the third largest, but far superior in many aspects, and actually has the most aircraft carriers in the world. Now part of the Navy we have the Marines. Most everybody has heard of the Marines. It's one of the most famous fighting forces in the world. It's one of the most talked about. Well Hollywood, I mean you see Marines in all kind of movies. Also Navy SEALs, you got guys like Mark Wahlberg, Bradley Cooper portrayed famous Navy SEALs in all kind of Hollywood movies. Um, and then we have the Air Force. The Air Force was founded on September eighteenth, nineteen forty seven actually two years after World War II. World War II was the first year that there was actually a large scale use of the Air Force other than World War I, just a little bit, but World War II is when the United States Air Force really broke out and became what it is today, the, quickly became the largest and by far still is the largest Air Force in the world. During World War II, however, it was actually part of the Army. That's why in 1947 it actually became its own separate branch, the United States Air Force. Currently, there is about 13,000 aircraft in our Air Force, and it's by far the largest and most technologically advanced Air Force. So, um, that's just a little background information on the branches of the military. Just hit and miss, nothing too big, nothing too major. Just overall, the United States military is very large, very complex, and very technologically advanced. And the men and women that you go to high school with, or you went to high school with, you go to college with, they'll go off and they'll join this military and I mean, you can be anything from a chef to a janitor, all the way up to the Navy SEALs, the fighter pilot, firefighter, I mean, law enforcement, there's all these jobs encompassed into the military. And this military, is what protects America's shores and keeps us safe every single day and gives us the rights that we get to enjoy here in America.